And then this is really cool. This is a vintage Nintendo cart. Hey guys, it is Monday, December 21st. It's kind of a gross, rainy day. I've only got 11 eBay orders to ship out today, and I'm not that surprised that it's not very high because I didn't list that much, Thursday or Friday. I think I listed a few Thursday, but none Friday, so usually when that happens, I don't have that much to ship out on Monday. After I pack the orders, I'm heading up to meet somebody for a private pick. They don't want to be filmed. They want to remain anonymous, so that's fine with me, uh, but I'm excited to look through it. Supposedly, there's a lot of stuff, so I'll take you guys with me. All right, let's get to work. Okay, first thing I'm shipping out are some watches. I think it's a total of four lots, and it's these right here. These are all watches that I got uh, from Danny and Parker, and I decided to do auctions with them. And these four right here all went to the same buyer. So let's see, one of them went for $25.01 plus shipping, uh, another one for $36 plus shipping, and then we've got two of them that he bought the same night for $80.01 plus shipping. So what I'm going to do is just... Combine all these in one box and refund him the difference in the shipping cost. Next thing is a pair of shoes. Uh, let's see. I think they're, yep, yeah, right here. I was going through my stuff and kind of taking inventory of things as I was changing over these bins and everything. And I noticed that I'd had these shoes for a really long time. And I almost thought about just taking them down and donating them because they weren't really worth a whole lot of money. But I noticed I had one or two watchers, so I sent out an offer of $9.00 plus shipping and someone accepted. All right, next is a lot of books. It is these right here. So let's see if I can get these down without causing an avalanche. So these are manga books, uh, the Snowdrop series. This is something I got in my storage units like way back in the summer. And I just got around to listing them finally. It's not a complete set. It's like volumes three through 12. So I was missing one or two, but these sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing's in C3. This is a Kyle Schwarber bobblehead, formerly of the Cubs. Uh, it says the Smokies, because that's a minor league team he was playing for when they released the bobblehead. I got this from Kevin, the Tennessee picker, and it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. That bobblehead's going out to viewer named Steve. Steve, thank you for the support. Really hope you like that bobblehead. All right, quick tip for you guys. I'm sure a lot of you have heard me talk about this before, but in case you haven't, this is a regional rate box B, okay? Um, they make regional A and regional B, and they have two different shapes for each. And this is kind of like the bigger rectangular box for the B. They make a long skinny one too. And basically what this is, forget about the regional part, because that doesn't mean anything. You can put as much weight as you want to up here up to 20 pounds and it will ship at a four pound rate so every once in a while when i get you know smaller things that are heavy i use these boxes and this comes in at like 16 pounds and four ounces i'll be able to ship this at a four pound rate and refund the buyer that big difference so should save them a lot of money those boxes are totally free you can get them in most post offices uh, but if your post office doesn't have it you can get it on usps.com all right next thing i'm shipping out is a teapot Let's see, it said it was in B3, so here we go, it's on one of the B shelves. I've got $5, oh wait, no, I didn't buy this individually, this was out of my storage unit, I remember now, it's been so long, I almost forgot. This sold for $19.99, plus shipping. Next is in C1, it's some small pens, so it might be hard to just dig it out of there, so I'm just pulling the whole bin. Let's see here, it's about maybe like 10 or 15 of these things all in one bag. Here we go. I got a whole bunch of pins and different things at a garage sale and made a lot of these right here. These are remakes, they're like reproductions of Russian World War II uh, pins. And 15 of them all together sold for $19.99, free shipping. Okay, next is back in F3. So I'm gonna move this rack out of the way. These are science fiction fantasy novels. I got a whole bunch of these at a garage sale for 10 cents a piece. I guess it's been three or four months ago now, and I did a lot of different um, groupings by author. So these are all by uh, Catherine Kurtz. Six books, they sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next thing I'm pulling is an E1. This is a Task Force 16-piece uh, bit set. New in the packaging, that sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And last thing I'm shipping today is an ornament. I think I see it down here. Yep, this is a Wizard of Oz. It's the wizard in his hot air balloon, the Omaha State Fair 
air balloon. Uh, got that from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Your name Kevin got that for his wife. Kevin, thank you for the support. Really hope your wife likes that ornament. All right, the orders are packed. It's time to hit the road. All right, guys, the van is pretty much fully loaded. You can see everything I got back there. Originally, um, they had said they only wanted like $200, but it was just so much stuff that I paid them extra. I ended up paying like 320 bucks for everything, but I'm really happy with everything I got. I'm gonna head back to the warehouse now and show you guys what else back here. All right, guys, I'm back at the warehouse. I pulled some of the stuff out to show you guys. Uh, first up, we've got these vintage Uncle Josh pork rind baits. These are really unique. Since they're so old, I don't know if they've, you know, like lost any like of the flavor that like fish would like. I mean, I really have no idea. But she said that she thought that these sold. So we'll give those a shot. Over here, we got some uh, trading cards. There's a lot of different trading cards. Baseball, Desert Storm, Hockey. There's like a little bit of everything. I love these old 90s uh, Superstars cards. The Colts, Joe Satriani, Debbie Gibson. Not worth a lot, but I'm kind of nostalgic for that stuff. Let's see, Desert Storm. There's three DSs. I don't know if there's chargers, but I know I've got some chargers for these that I can test them with. Kids Ohio State jacket. There's a red jersey. More cards down here. That's cards. There's some uh, ALF and Desert Storm like wax covers. It's kind of interesting. And then we got some big enamel wear like pans and bowls and stuff. And then this is really cool. This is a vintage Nintendo cart. So let's see here. I think the system would probably go on top and then like you put some games in here and then maybe like extra controllers and stuff in there. It's got wheels. Uh, this thing's in pretty good shape. And I think this is this piece alone is gonna sell for close to 200 bucks. All right, I brought another load in. We got a Tonka truck. Here's a big Lego space set. Looks like there might be a car in there too. That's pretty cool. Uh, a couple pieces of Pyrex. Let's see what we got here. Some cassette tapes. Billy Joel, Ann Murray, Night King Cole, Beach Boys. Might just do a big lot of those. Uh, we got some more cards. It's like football. Let's see, there might be some more cassettes in here. Now this is a cassette storage case. And this is probably the same. More cassettes. Um, Garth Brooks, Tina Turner, Temptations, Oak Ridge Boys. Got a whole bunch of 8-track tapes. Uh, let's see, John Denver, Willie Nelson, Guy Lombardo. Uh, this right here, let's see, next 650G. I think this is some kind of computer part. Maybe a hard drive? Well, nothing's right in there, so it might just be some of the cables and accessories for that. In this box, we have some beer tap handles. That's a cool one. Like a telephone. Batch 19, Sam Adams, Budweiser. It's a vintage Sony boombox. It's a pretty nice one too, actually. And they said it works, which is awesome. Let's see, we've got a camera lens. It's a Vivitar. Here is a square reader. Some old jars. These will do well in the antique booth. Okay, we got a typewriter in here. Let's see if I can get it open. This is a vintage Adler. Has the original case and owner's manual. And I looked it up. I think this is worth about $100. It's really clean too. That's a nice one. Got a little fan that'll be good for the antique booth. Tonka fire truck. This is cool. That's just a really old brush with a wood handle. Uh, let's see, we got a blowtorch, cordless phone, a flashlight with a big tripod, it's kind of cool. This is a cast iron piece. It looks like it's modern, because I see some Phillips screws around the ends. I don't know if this would be for, like, dog balls, or, like, what that would be for. That's kind of interesting. Here's another brush. Might be Bakelite. Let's see, Nylon USA. Here's a Mr. Burger with the original box and styrofoam. That's pretty cool. 
This is a King Griffey Jr. glove with the original Rawlings tag, so that's pretty awesome. We've got a uh, unit in Bearcat scanner and a GPX portable TV. Looks like it's new in the box too, that's awesome. All right, brought some more in. Let's see what is in here. Uh, this is EVGA. Okay, so this is the next 650 piece that goes with that box back in there. So I think this might be a hard drive. We got virtual reality headset. Here's a Seth Thomas Mano clock. She said it didn't work. Uh, it was kind of just a throw in actually on the deal. But even if it doesn't work, I think I can sell it for parts. And then this whole tub is full of stuff. Let's see. Got a big book. World Trade Center archive. That's pretty wild. There's a Sessions clock. Here's like a mid-century modern ice bucket. Got a recoil game. Here's a Nintendo case. That is really cool. Some hubcaps. I think there's a camera in here. Maybe a portable CD player. Uh, we got a DVD player, some Wii controllers, a camera, more cameras, more stuff down here. And this, these bags, there's a Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Sr. print. All right, here's the last little bit of it. This is a vintage laundry basket. And there's some stuff in here too. It looks like we got a Peterbilt model truck. There's a cassette storage. These are actually bringing pretty decent money right now. Oh wait, I'm sorry. This is a um, VHS storage, not cassettes. Uh, and then, oh wait, that's it. Behind it, we've got this fabric fashion knitter with the original box, a tripod, and an old suitcase. I'm really happy with everything I got. I think there's some good money to be made and she says she'll have some more for me in a couple weeks. So if I buy some more stuff, I will definitely show you guys what I get. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.